Holy Saturday is a day of waiting. Today we know for what we wait. We wait for the dawn of a new day on Easter Sunday when God showed us that life is triumphant over death. But those disciples, those followers of Jesus so long ago, for them, Saturday was a day of waiting that they thought had no end. They did not know for what they were waiting. All they knew was that the one whom they loved so much was dead and gone after being brutalized. Those last images that Mary, the mother of Jesus and his friends, Mary Magdalene, the other women who were there at the foot of the cross, those last images that they had were horrifying. Beaten and bloodied and murdered by the state in an excruciating way. Crucifixion on a cross is horrifyingly brutal. And so that was the image that they had of Jesus. That Saturday must have been filled with so much pain and sorrow, overwhelming grief, wailing and crying aloud, wondering what had happened, how had it all gone so wrong? Could they have done something different? Oh, certainly those disciples could have. Those disciples that betrayed and denied knowing him and deserting him while he was left alone before the religious leaders and the governor, while he was forced to carry his own instrument of death, the cross, onto that lonely, lonely hill. Yes, those disciples who perhaps watched from afar, maybe one or two of them were closer by. What were they thinking on that Saturday? Were they beating themselves up, wondering what they themselves could and should have done? Or were they blaming others? Did they heap their blame upon Judas? Or did they recognize their own part? Saturday was a day of waiting. Many of us have known that pain that comes after an unexpected loss, that waiting for healing sometimes or for understanding, a waiting that is filled with tears and grief, despair, depression, and sometimes silence, but not an empty silence, a full, heavy silence, a silence of not being able to grasp the enormity of what has happened. 
many of us know that feeling. And so we can understand what those followers of Jesus might have been feeling. We have the insight that they did not, at least in terms of knowing what happened for Jesus on that Sunday morning and knowing that the lives of his followers in those days would be shockingly transformed. Our losses are not redeemed in the same way, but our griefs soften and we now know and believe that when someone dies that in fact, death is not the last word, but still those unexpected deaths are so hard to get over and perhaps we never get over them. May this day of waiting, this holy Saturday, be a day for us to sit in solidarity with the disciples and the women and the other followers of Jesus, sitting with them in their pain, recognizing that sorrow, feeling that grief. Perhaps it will bring up some hard things for us as well. But as we sit with those griefs and those sorrows and those pains of the losses that we have endured, may we remember that though Saturday may hold its silence, we know that it is not the last word, that Sunday comes with a new message of life, of hope, of love. Blessings on your Holy Saturday.